Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.sensi.us, where I'm Liz Quinn, your star Scentsy consultant. So today what I have for you is a weekly what I've been warming. I have a lot of wonderful Scentsy here. I do have a couple of our newest licensed bars to talk about, and these are both actually surprisingly good. And I'll give you some updates on the tracking for my 10 bar bundle of the new releases and also the home new release kit with all of the warmers. And I do have a few things that I have thoughts on for teddy bees where I had received my pre-order and I know that some of you will be curious about what am I thinking about these for future purchases. The RTS I believe is on the 10th, uh, that would be this Saturday. So there's teddy bee stuff at the end, there's lots of wonderful scentsy at the beginning, and let's just dive right on in. So those first two things that I really wanted to talk to you guys about are the two bars which neither of these just reading the notes was I super excited about but I am enjoying them. So the Lord of the Rings Shire Sunrise also goes with that absolutely beautiful Hobbit house warmer and if any of you are Lord of the Rings fans that is the first time that we have done something licensed with this particular movie and I know how incredibly uh, beloved the books and everything is from this particular series. So Lord of the Rings Shire Sunrise is, it's the dawn of a new journey as woodland breeze carries hints of fresh citrus and forest florals over lush and peaceful hillsides. So we've got florals, forests, hillsides, and woodland breezes. And somewhere in all of that, I feel almost like there's an apple tree because this has everything very early fall and I wish I could nail down an old Bath and Body Works candle that to me hints of this. I do not remember what it was called. It was good. This is a little bit more fresh than that. That other candle was a little bit more woodsy, but this is really good. And coming out in August, they nailed the timing on this and I love this. So if you liked Route 66, if you liked Farmer's Market, if you liked Woodland Meadow, any of those, this is, I think, better than any of them, except maybe Route 66, because I do have a soft spot for that. It's herbal, it's woodsy, it's kind of, like I said, I almost feel like there's maybe some a little hint of apple or apple wood in the background. It keeps it sweet. It might just be all the forest and florals together, but this is a great bar if you love a light, happy, woodsy scent, and I would encourage you to try that one. But the one that was a shocker to me, because I don't mind banana, but I never love it in wax, is Minions a Banana. Or if I remember right, because the Minions are so silly, they would say, Boonana. Tell me if I'm wrong. I haven't seen any of their movies in years. But this was really good. And I have other banana-y things that I did and tropical things on the same day. I've got the old bananas that was from a Bring Back My Bar, and it was around a long time ago. This one is more runts candy banana and this new one it's not a lot different but it's just enough different that it's a more sweet and creamy banana and not quite it's still artificial because they all are but not quite so artificial and i actually really liked it i liked it enough that i definitely want more and i even threw it into my quarterly club just in case i forgot to order more that is saying a lot for a banana scent. It's just happy. It's not ridiculously forceful in the house. Now, I do melt a lot of different waxes that kind of equalize each other, but it's actually good. So to me, really, it's much more like a banana cream pie. They say that it has palm leaf, it's got sweet vanilla, and it's got a creamy banana or creamy vanilla and sweet banana. I don't know. And I just really, really, really liked it. And then the other one that I was melting on the same day was Tropical Coconut Nectar, which is from our summer collection. This is more like a sweet coconut and peach and mango drink. And it's really, really nice. So these three, I did all three of them trying to sort of compare the artificialness of the two bananas and adding that to keep it from being too much. I was a really, really happy summertime girl. And that Minions Bar truly impressed me for what it is. If you hate banana, don't order it. But if you have even the possibility that you might like it, maybe try it. Okay, now after that, I was just working on some things in the house where this beautiful scent here, the driftwood and jasmine that was from one of our, oh, this is so nice. One of our summertime collections, the Island Days, several years ago. I've been hoarding these bars 
this is so wonderful and I kicked myself for taking it out of my club because at one time I had kept it but it's a really nice musky driftwood and heavy drenched jasmine floral smell and it's very summery and I did pair that with kukui and coconut which is current in the catalog that's so nice and they balance each other very well the jasmine one's a little bit stronger it was so good then another day which was more rainy I think definitely not super bright and sunny I did a bar of blackberry spice which is now discontinued and a bar of palo santo and cinnamon these two are very nice together because I have some trouble with palo santo and cinnamon which you can't even get anymore because I thought it would come back this fall and it's not getting the right thing to melt with it and the blackberry spice was perfect because this has cedar it's got blackberries it's got lots of spices it's heavy spicy woodsy fruity and this is just super spicy woodsy so that was good those were really really good i would plug this more if i knew you could get them but we are now discontinued from uh, both of those off the list so then another day i was just feeling like coffee and sweet warm decadent scents so i had two different coffee smells from a couple of random bring back my bar times perk me up which i kept in my club longer and then the breakfast blend that was just available this last couple uh, well a couple weeks ago in july so the breakfast blend is the most truly coffee scent that i've smelled from scentsy it's got a heavy presence of true coffee and it's nice but I wanted to try mixing it, so I actually put that with everything nice, and I got a really good pumpkin spice latte. Very, very nice, because this everything nice is also a very heavy, deep bar. This is pumpkin. It's super roasty. It's got that squashiness that some people cannot stand, and nuts, really good with the breakfast blend. But then the perk me up, I had this in a few warmers by itself, because this isn't quite as robust. This is almost more like coffee with a little bit of cream. It's more Colombian than it is French roast. And this one I love in alternate warmers or a direct mix with toffee butter crunch or salted caramel toffee. So I had all four of those things kind of working in the house on Saturday. It was wonderful. It smelled like a pumpkin and toffee coffee shop. Really, really good. So then the other thing that I was doing that was scentsy was just trying to kind of use up a few clams in a few places. The berry bubble blue, I think I used in my younger daughter's room and no, yeah, just younger daughter's room. I thought I stuck this in the basement, but I didn't. And that was good. And then also, I had the most random things in the basement. I know I also did have a clam of a peeling apple just to use it up. That is a really nice sweet apple florally scent that we haven't had in a long time. And I also used up some Angel Experiment 626, which is a sweet cloud, whipped cream, berries, cotton candy smell. This is currently in the catalog. And if you like those really girly, fruity, whipped kind of smells, get some of that. So those two were very nice, but... I'm going to transition now because we also this week, if you wanted to go in on the RTS for Teddy Bees, she does two different styles of order and she only does these groupings of orders three times a year. So I received my pre-order where the list came out in May and we could place our order, but you get it 12, 13 weeks later. And then if you love something, you get a chance to go do the Hunger Games style Black Friday, like worst type of experience ever for your nerves, RTS on August 10th. So I understand that most people say their teddy bees should cure for six months to a year, but if I'm not gonna have the opportunity to purchase these scents again, potentially ever, or for a long time before we have to beg for it again, I'm cutting out chunks of some of the scents that I think are really intriguing to see, do I truly want to try to invest in more or is it worth a pass? So we do have a few of those scents here to just consider. And I will be putting most of these away and letting them cure for down the road. There are a couple that are good enough now, I'm just gonna melt them. But, but I know that that's the thought with Teddy Bees is that you put it away and you let it sit. But I don't wanna miss the opportunity to possibly uh, get some more. So there was one day where I did one Scentsy and one of the Teddy Bees just because I couldn't think of anything else Teddy Bees to pair with that. So this is Highway Run. And I put this in the front room while I was doing campfire stories from Teddy Bees in the back. And I needed enough of some of these waxes from TBs to be able to really tell what is this going to smell like when you warm it up? And then some of those scents from her definitely mature. The vanillas will strengthen, the bakeries will strengthen, the spices will balance, but even green, just give me a basic idea whether I love this or hate this. But the highway run is so nice. 
it's just kind of peppery. It's sweet, it's mellow, it's resinous. It's definitely perfect for late summer or early fall. I threw this in my club. I'm very happy that I did because even with Scentsy, there's a certain amount of strengthening that the bars will do as they age. And this is only what, probably two to three months old now as far as the pour. And it is better than it was when I got my first sample bar. It's beautiful. So then the Campfire Stories is one of the ones that's kind of a darling of the Facebook groups and the YouTube reviewers with the Teddy Bees community. This is an intriguing scent. I cannot say I hated it. But I also cannot say that I loved it so much that I would want more, except maybe a souffle if it was the sort of thing that was kind of a leftover laying around in the sale, which I'm sure it won't be because people love this. Ooey gooey s'mores, cold night winds, and sweet vanilla woods. It's good, but I don't love as much the balance of the sharpness of the night winds in the woods with the s'mores note. I think if it was slightly sweeter, I'd be completely addicted, but this balance is unique and is good. It almost made me want to go grab around the campfire from Scentsy and mix it in here, but I just, I'll enjoy the rest of this. And like I said, if something like that were to be in some other sale, because sometimes she'll do like a, a leftovers kind of a thing. She did that last December where something like that just popped up. I might grab one just to grab it, but I'm not going to arm wrestle people for that specific one. Now this next one, this next one, I started putting this in the warmers and you guys, I just couldn't help myself. And with the Teddy Bees compared to a Scentsy, I would use two Scentsy bars to one souffle of tea bees in the same space. They just perform very differently. And the Scentsy is usually much stronger, but the Teddy Bees tends to spread out more in the space. It influences the space differently. It's just so interesting how every wax company has its own personality. Yankee's a little bit different. Obviously Bath and Body Works because you're dealing with a candle that has a completely different burning and throwing style. But I, I really only need one souffle of tea bees to do my whole open area. But anyway, I started with like two little slivers of its fall, y'all, which is marshmallow, fireside, cinnamon, orange zest, leaves, brown sugar, and vanilla. I put it in my Florida room in my two warm respect there, and I'm like, oh, I love this. So then I thought, I really should probably put this in the dining room too. <laughs> and then I just kept cutting. And I filled the entire space with the most wonderful marshmallow fireside forward, slightly brown sugar, and then all the other notes would follow gorgeous, cuddly, relaxing scent. I want at least a loaf of this if I can snatch it in the RTS. It is so good, you guys. It just made me happy. It's like a big, fuzzy, wonderful fall sweater. I really want more of that. And it's the kind of thing where I was laughing at myself because I'm like, really? You're going to fill the whole house with this? And there's the potential, probably not because I don't think it's one of the like new and trendy scents, but there's the potential that you can't get any more and you're going to waste it all in one day. It was a glorious day. Okay, so then we've got the Order of the Maesters, which I just put a little bit of this in my daughter's room because she would be the one that would want to specifically melt this. So I'm going to try to get her one more souffle. This is really cool. It's very sophisticated and old-fashioned. And, man, if you had a bookshop, you should get loads of this and just melt it in there. It would enhance the experience. So antique wood shelves, leather-bound books, midnight plum, violets, and a touch of dust. This is really unique. I don't know that this is something I would want in my out outward... Um, spaces. That's not the word I want in my, my open, my more open all family space. Now, one that is kind of similar is this brand new master of whispers. And yeah, I, I filled the whole space with this so that I could tell whether I wanted more. This is so complex. This is truly one of my favorite scents from the entire pre-order. But here's the thing about this. This is another one where it's so sophisticated that I will really enjoy it, but I don't know if I need more. If I need more, I need a souffle. But this is aged oak, pressed parchment, tobacco leaves, hints of leather, quill ink, and vanilla whiskey. This is such a sophisticated scent. It has so much gravitas. It's just really nice, but I am addicted to cuddly comfort scents. That's where I want loaves of them. I want things that are warm. I want things that are really woody. And this has some of that in there, but it's just more sophisticated. So it's just not going to hit me that I'm going to want to melt this as often. So this may be enough. Really, really, really nice. Okay. So now here's the one out of all of them where I will not buy any more of this. I'm going to put it in the back of my candle cupboard and hopefully let it decide that it can behave better for me in the future. This is I Heart Vanilla Tobacco, Creamy Vanilla Marshmallow, Vanilla Milkshake, Bath and Body Works Marshmallow Clouds, Sweet Tobacco Leaves, Cherry Wood, and a Pinch of Honey. 
Now, uh, Chris from Chris with uh, Dazzling Sense with Chris. I love watching her teddy bees hauls because she takes such a wonderfully luxurious long time to think through every single scent. And she's really, really good about leaving her wax alone. I, I am not. And she counseled me just just put it away, Elizabeth. It'll be it'll be fine down the road. And I'm sure in a year that all this vanilla will balance out and all of a sudden I'll be mad that I don't have more. But I tried just a little, little sliver of this. One thing this scent is, is strong. It's a boomer, a little teeny sliver and a mini Scentsy Warmer, which is not the best for performance for Teddy Bees, filled my whole kitchen. And it smelled primarily right now of cherry wood. That is one where I think the case of leave your Teddy Bees alone is very fair. Like I said, I'm sure it'll be great in a year. I had the same kind of problem with Modern Farmhouse, but not as much so, where the first couple times I melted it, and I did wait a little while, I'm like, eh, I'm not sure if I love this. And now that I've had my Modern Farmhouse for months, that is gorgeous. So probably this will just chill out, and all that vanilla will come out, and it will be incredible. But at the moment, I don't need any more, and as strong as it is, that will perform as well as your typical Teddy Bee's loaf. I'm good. The next one. And now we're getting to a couple of the ones where the is fall y'all this one and then the next one i really really hope i can manage to get a loaf of each the long night i love 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 this this is cocoa butter cashmere tonka oud wood and marshmallow fireside it smells when you warm this and i'm sure this will get stronger with age for all the world like the most gorgeous warm woody vanilla there's nothing cold here it is just super appealing. I think it would be an amazing winter scent. Maybe not Christmas, but like winter when you want the house warm. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, so I'm hoping I can land a loaf in this. It is just lovely. I'm very impressed with that. And then this one, I don't know if I'll be able to get more because it's new and I know people will compete for it. Holiday in Halloween Town. Guys, teeny little sliver in the cute as a button warmer in my daughter's room. This is so good if you love eggnog. Last year I was able to get a loaf of uh, fall into Christmas, I believe it was, that has the eggnog and the vanilla pumpkin, which I cannot wait to melt more of that. This is like earlier fall, but kind of along those lines, but with the churros and the cinnamon and the donuts with all that eggnog and marshmallows. Like, I don't want to plug this because I want to be able to get a loaf of it and have you guys not take them all. This is so good. So whatever size I can get my hands on of this, if I can possibly get any more, I want more. But I really want it in a loaf. That is phenomenal. It's warm. It's rich. It's, I want my whole house to smell like that. There are some scents, and I do love bakery. I love bakery. I love spice. I love woods the most. And I do like fresh. I do like fruity, but it has to be just particular right one but that that holiday in Halloween Town I could do that in every room in this house and I'd be happy so then the last two I wanted to buy both of these as a souffle and then melt them on the same day because there are enough similarities and notes that I wasn't sure which one I would like better so the milk cookies beach treats and lavender marshmallows compared to not just another lavender vanilla now the milk cookies and beach treats, this is a layered scent, so some of it is going to be the milk cookies and beach treats and the other part of it is the lavender marshmallow. Now on cold, I liked this, but I wasn't sure how it would shake down in the warmer. It has that beautiful milk and cookies, almost like a cookies and cream. Obviously it gets a little bit more oomph from the beach treats and then that beautifully balances the lavender marshmallow. So if you don't care for I guess some people would consider it harsh herbal lavender, very French lavender from Scentsy or even more so like, like a lavender soap that maybe you would get at a health food store or a fancy boutique. This, once you add the bakery and the beach treats, it takes all of that away so that you're getting kind of a gourmand foodie with a touch of lavender. And so if you hate herbal lavender, you might really like this one if you like bakery a lot. It's very good, and it's another one of those where, with the way that you learn to order in a Teddy Bee's RTS, you start with your rider dies, you get those. You get out, you take a deep breath, you go back in, you get the other things that are still available, and then you email them and say, please combine my orders so I don't have double shipping, which is amazing that they'll do that. Not just another lavender vanilla. If you like lavender vanilla, the candle from Bath & Body Works, this would be more your speed. And this is so good. Like, this still doesn't have that cold, harsh 
lavender thing. And I actually really, really like heavy herbal lavender. We just did with Scentsy the lemon lavender bar. Oh my gosh, I love that. But I like both, but I guess you would call sweet and herbal lavenders. So I think that this not just another lavender vanilla, it's a stronger, more substantial version of something more like our, uh, gosh, we whipped vanilla lavender from Scentsy, but this is more complex. But those are the best things that I could tell you as far as what lavender do I buy if I'm scared of lavender. I did not get one called Late Night Bake that I've heard so much about. Again, I probably can't get my hands on it compared to some of the things that are at the top of my list, but if I could throw a souffle of that in my cart, I might try it just so I could try all the different lavenders. But what I'm really personally very fascinated by and drawn to with Teddy Bees are the woody, the exceptional bakery, the Christmassy scents. That's the stuff with all the wood, the balsam, the warmth, the the oud, the tonka. That's the stuff that I fight for when it comes to her products. So I hope that those things were helpful. I wish that I had time to review more of those scents so that we could talk about them for Saturday, but you can only melt so much and process it with your brain and still go off and do other things with your life. So I am very, very excited about my Scentsy things that are coming, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. It hasn't given me a shipping date yet, but my 10 new release bars will probably, this is what, two, and um, my warmer kit also. I have one group of orders where both of those should come together and I've got another group of orders that I don't think is shipped yet that has fall, uh, the harvest bundle and some paperwork stuff and all that in it. So I do hope to have that very special couple of Scentsy videos for you. Definitely by Monday, I think you can look for them with the warmer kit and the 10 new release bars. And I'm very excited about doing those with you. So guys, have a great day and um, may you do well on Saturday if you brave the RTS. It's I think four o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And if you're serious about getting waxed, get on immediately because it's crazy. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. God bless. Bye-bye.